I am Jeremiah Ajuda Dusu, the author of Jad's Business and Financial Accounting. Hello. Good to see you again. So let's uh, let's proceed. Remember. Yeah, you know, we're still on group of consolidated balance sheet, right? So last class we talked about associates. Yeah. So this class we're looking at another one. Okay. So we'll say so here we're looking at joint venture okay um, I don't believe that if you've been following this class you, you would have um, observed that I'm taking some classes on joint venture earlier because when we're treating partnership and all that right so we already understand the basis which is like saying um, uh, you know an arrangement where you have two or more individuals you know carrying out um, a business arrangement over a what specified period of time maybe okay so that's when we're treating the partnership, we also treat joint venture in that scenario, right? So, of course, I, you know, was able to, you know, um, you know treat um, joint venture in that aspect. Of course, you can have it involving individuals. Two individuals can come together, you know, have a business arrangement that will last for a particular period of time. Okay, that's joint venture. You can have a company and another company come together, you know, have a business arrangement that will last for a particular period. Of course, that's joint venture as well, right? So I already thought how to you know, prepare account in those perspectives. So you have to understand what we're dealing with here. Here, we're talking about group balance sheet, right? Of course, we're talking about you know one company having investment in another company, right? So in this scenario, too, you can have joint venture arrangement. Okay, so you have to understand what you're dealing with. So here we're saying that what well, there is a company that has investment in other what companies. Okay, so now uh, you must understand that um, where a company has investment in another company, of course, in terms of shares, right? Now, that company in which there is an investment, okay, does not fall into an associate and does not fall into a subsidiary. Then there's a likely uh, tendency that that company is what? Is a joint venture arrangement. So what I'm saying is this: Say A Limited eh, has uh, shares. Of course, it can be an investment. Okay, in what? B Limited. Okay, now A Limited has shares in B Limited. Now, if we are able to establish that B Limited, okay, is what neither. An associate, nor a subsidiary. Then B Limited is likely to be what a joint venture was arrangement. So we must be able to establish that the investment in a particular company is making that company not to be an associate, and is making that company not to be what a subsidiary. So once you can establish that the company in which there's an investment or the company whose share has been acquired is not an associate and it's not a subsidiary, then it could be what? <clears throat> a joint venture. So now you must understand that the key element here is that what there must be what? A contractual agreement. So the contractual agreement will enable us to establish the exact relationship between what the companies so you must be able to you know have that understanding that where there's no contractual agreement then it's likely that what the relationship does not make you know be limited in that sense a joint venture so for joint venture to what you know uh, actually exist or to be established there's a need for what a contractual document or a contractual agreement Okay, so it's key. So the issue here is that what the contractual agreement must be able to help us establish 
that there is no associate relationship and there is no subsidiary what relationship. So once you don't have associate relationship and you don't have subsidiary relationship, then you have a joint venture what arrangement, the joint venture relationship. Now, uh, generally, uh, joint venture relationship is uh, fifty what percent what acquisition. So where you have a company, say A Limited, having what fifty percent shares in B Limited. Okay, B Limited can be what seen as what a joint venture, except you're able to establish otherwise. So there should be a contractual agreement establishing the fact that it's a joint venture what relationship. Okay, now after uh, understanding that fact, now where there is a joint venture relationship, okay, uh, we must also understand that there's something called joint operation. Joint operation is something called uh, jointly owned assets or joint assets. Then there's something called jointly controlled uh, entity. So here, joint operations, we're talking about, um, you know, the parties involved, or the venturers involved, you know, operating or taking charge of the activities of a particular what, business. Okay? You know, they are involved in a particular activity, you know, that brings income. Okay? That is joint operation. So, managing the activity that brings the what, income is managed by both Venturers or the venturers were involved. That's joint operation. A jointly owned asset is uh, where there is, you know, the, when the venturers you know uh, are investing, you know, a capital sum in acquiring an asset, you know, for the purpose of generating income for a particular business activity. So that's jointly owned what as a jointly controlled asset. Okay, so you can have joint venture in that perspective as well. Where the assets used to generate income is what jointly owned by the venturers. And there's something called jointly controlled entity. Now that's more like what we're looking at here. So there's an entity, let's say B Limited, right? Now that is being what? Should I say jointly controlled by what? A Limited and another what? Let's say C Limited or D Limited. You see? So that is a joint venture. Work. And so here, yeah, you are having an entity that what jointly what controlled. That's what we call jointly controlled what entity. Okay. So now in accounting for uh, you can look at IS thirty one, IFRS eleven. Okay. Now in accounting for joint venture arrangement, you know under group perspective here, there are two methods. The first one is what we call the proportional consolidation. Now what we're seeing here is that, you know, usually what we, what we do when there's a subsidiary relationship is that, you know, we take account of the full, you know, assets and liabilities of the word subsidiary. Okay? But in this case now, you are taking account of what? You know, the assets and liabilities of what? Of the entity to the extent of your what interest. So you are not going to consolidate the entire assets and liabilities of the entity that is jointly controlled. So you're going to take account of only the what, the level of interest that you have in that what entity. That's proportional consolidation. Okay, but here you can have it also split into two. So we call a uh, similar line method or similar line basis you can call this uh, similar item method or similar item basis eh? you get the point now similar line method similar item method or some use some generally use what line by line method okay so that is Proportional consolidation. They are, they are using two approach now. The first one is similar line method, or you can call similar item method, or line by line method. So what we're saying here is that you report, you know, the jointly controlled entity now. You report the items in the group words balance sheets with similar items. So 
fixed assets is reported together with fixed assets in the group balance sheet. You get the point now. Furniture and fittings are going together with furniture and fittings. So non current asset items are going together with non current asset items. That's what we call line by line or similar item method, similar what? Line method. Now there's something called separate, separate line method. So what they are telling here is that in the group balance sheet, you should also be able to state at a glance, they want to see the joint venture what? Asset and liabilities and the group what asset and liabilities. So you're not combining them. So as you're showing the group balance sheet item, the, the group balance sheet, as you're showing the you know, let's say the parent company items, you're also showing the what joint venture entity items. Okay? So if for instance, let's say this is consolidated balance sheet, eh? right? So of course you're going to have we have our notes, Abby, and then we have this we'll say assets, right? So non-current now, for non-current, okay, we expect to see the parent, okay, and then we also expect to see what, the JV. So at a glance, we'll see for non-current items now, I want to see what is that of the parent and what that of what, joint venture. Well, if it is for line by line, or similar line item, eh, you will not have to show parent separately and joint venture separately. You combine them. So non-current asset. Let's assume that parent is uh, parent is ten. Joint venture. Let's say it's five. Of course, this will be fifteen here, right? So if we're doing similar line as line by line, we we'll just show a non-current asset item to what fifteen. But if we're doing separate line method, you have to show the parent, which is ten, and then you have to show. The JV, which is what five to give you fifteen. So this is what we call similar line method or separate line method. Okay. So now this is the first method, proportional consolidation, right? For joint venture agreement, of course you can also look at um, IAS thirty one, IFRS eleven. Okay. Now this is the first method, proportional consolidation, and then. Uh, there's also equity method, which I already explained in the last class. In the second method, equity method can be used as well. I think IS28 uh, also suggests that, you know, amended I guess. So you can, of course, use the IS, um, sorry, the equity method to also report joint venture. Okay? You can also use the proportional words consolidation, which is what used to be done. I think adjusted IS28 also allowed that we use the equity method. So there are two methods for joint venture arrangements, you can use the proportional consolidation or use the word equity word method. Okay, and here I've explained that proportional consolidation means that what you're taking into account, you know, the asset and the word joint venture entity, okay, to the extent of your what of your interest or the percentage of what share that you have in the company. So you have 50%, you take 50% of what the asset and the of what of the joint venture entity. That's proportional consolidation, but you can report it in similar line method or a separate line word method okay that's what i've explained there okay so this is uh, a summary of um, group um, balance sheet or what you call consolidated balance sheet involving with joint venture with arrangement okay so you can go through it and if you have questions you can reach me on the numbers display and let's reply with the right word answers okay so let's quickly take a question so you understand exactly what we're talking about here Okay, let's really take this uh, question to understand what we're talking about here. So we have the following represent the balance sheets uh, of King Limited, Queen Limited, and Pawns Limited. So the about on eighteen. So we have kings, queens, and pawns. So we have assets, land and building, furniture and fittings, debtors, investment in queens, investment in pawns. We have cash at bank. And then we have share capital reserve, right? Okay. Now they said. Kings Limited acquired eighty percent in shares. Eighty percent shares in Queens Limited at two thousand and fifteen, when its reserve was um, one hundred and thirty thousand. There, then Kings Limited acquired fifty percent shares in Pond Limited at two thousand and seventeen, when its reserve was seventy thousand. Okay, now said so the contractual agreement revealed that the investment of Kings Limited in Pond Limited is a joint venture agreement with what Knights Limited. You are required to prepare the what consolidated schedule and the 
So let's take a look at the actual position. So here we're having uh, a company that has uh, one subsidiary and then a joint venture arrangement. Okay. So let's see how we can, you know, report that. So here we have. Uh, Okay, so let's go. So here we have uh, cost of control, which is kings in queens. Because that is, how many percent there? Eh? 80 percent. So we're going to have what? Minority interests of what? 20 percent. Now, we can find a way to account for the joint venture in the schedule instead of repeating it somewhere else now. So let's just say uh, JV, which is 50%. For the JV, there's no minority interest. So we have consolidated profit and what? Loss. So let's Treat the JV. What's the JV there? JV there we have uh, what we have investment in ponds. Okay, that's uh, ponds there. So let's go. We have ponds, right? So what's the share capital of ponds there? One five hundred. So JV will take 50%. I think that's 750. Okay. What's the reserve? The reserve here is 550. Remember, we have 550 into pre and what? Post. So what's the pre? Okay, we have quite a few shares in Pond Limited on that and when is that was what 70. So we have 70 to so 550 minus 70. Four eighty. <coughs> so this will be zero point five, zero point five. So zero point five of seventy. Thirty-five. So we have thirty-five. Zero point five or four eighty. Two forty. So we have CPI about two forty. No minority interest. So the next one, of course, will be what? Queens. What are queens there? Queens there, share capital is uh, 1 million. So 80% here is 800. 20% is what? 200. So what are our reserve? Reserve here is what? 320. So this is pawns. This point. We have three twenty. We post was free one thirty. Post with two hundred and one thirty. One ninety. So this will be times zero point eight times zero point eight. This will be times. 0 0.2 so 130 times 0 0.8 104 right 104 so there is interest 0 0.2 times 320 64 post 0 0.8 times 190 
152. Okay, so if you add this, it should give you 320. So 104 plus 64 plus 152, 320. Okay, so let's go. So what's it? Net asset acquired. This is 904. This is 264. This is what? 785. All our investments. For this investment in coins, what investment in coins? Q200. The investment for the joint venture is one two hundred. So goodwill. For this is two two hundred. Minus nine oh four. One two nine six. JV is one twenty minus seventy five. That's four one five. That's a good deal. So we have minority interest. I'll be two. We have 550 free posts 70 for 80 and 0 for 5 points. We have free, we have posts 130 for 90 to 0 0.8. So this can go off so we can have a clear view. So my right interest will be two six four. So that's with respect to you know coins. Okay, let's go. So what's King's result? Interest average is 2540. 2540. Right? So C, P, and L was 240 plus 152. Plus two five forty two nine three two right yeah so what we've done here is to prepare the consolidated schedule okay to show you know the subsidiary and the joint venture arrangement okay so with this now we can prepare the Consolidated balance sheet. Okay, so there are two methods. We have line by line and the separate line. So I'm going to try and see if I can, you know, show the two here. So let's do the first one. Yeah. So let's say this is a. Uh, similar line method, right? Or what you call your line by line, right? So we say kings and its 
subsidiaries. So we see what's consolidated. Let's call it statements of what financial position. As at thirty first December twenty eighteen, right? So we're doing similar line. So we have this. So let's see notes. So here are our assets, right? So we have non current, right? So non current here. Let's call it note one. So let's put our note one here. So what are they? We have so note one. What do we have for note one? That's non current asset items. Because that would be, you know, here we have land and building. That would be for queens, kings, and then 50% of bonds, of course. That's the proportion. So we have land and building there. Land and building. So for kings, we have 500. Queens, 515. Pounds, it will take half of pounds. So we have 500 plus 515 plus 0 0.5 times 800. So what do we have? 500 plus 515 plus 400. 1415. So what's the next one? Furniture and fittings. So what do we have? We have uh, 365, then half of that of pounds, right? That's 200. So we have, what do you have here? 300 plus 265 plus 0 0.5 of 400, right? So what do we have? Seven six five. So total one four one five plus seven six five. Two one eighty. So we have. 2180. So we have a current, let's call that note 2. So what are the current items there? Debtors. We have debtors. So what do we have? 29185. That's kings and queens, half of that. So 290 plus 185 plus. That's half of three, that's 175. So 290. We have uh, 650. Right? 650. So we have 650. So what's the next one now? That's bank. So what do you have for bank there? 550, 355, then half of that, right? 0.5 times 500. So what do we have? One one five five. We have 650 plus 1155. That's 1805. So we have 1805. So what are goodwill? Let's call that note 3. Let's bring that here. What are goodwill here? How the 
two two sorry one two nine six plus four one five what do we have one seven one one right one two nine six plus So we have one seven one one. We have one seven one one. So we have this up. What do we have? Two one eighty plus one eight four five plus one seven one one. Five six nine six. So let's go now. What are our liabilities? What are our reserve? 2932 for our share capital. For Kent, 2500. We have minority interest with respect to coins. We have 264. Two nine three two plus two five hundred plus two six four five six nine six. So this two dollar sets. Okay, so this is for. The similar line method, or what we call uh, the line of alignment. So let's show how the word uh, separate, separate line method will look like. So let's say separate line method. So to be kings and its what subsidiaries. So we have. Consolidated statement of what financial position as of the first December two thousand eighteen. Okay, so we're gonna have this. So let's just say notes so we know where it is. So these are what assets. So let's say non current eh? note one the non current now we're going to have the parent what's the parent for non current of course if you look at this place now this side is for what kings and queens which is for the parent and this is for the joint venture so if you add this to this that will give you for the parent so 500 plus 5.5 One zero one five. One zero one five. So this parent here is what? One zero one five. So joint venture will be this. Excuse me, let's not make mistakes. So let me show what we're doing here. For parents here, we have one zero one five. Then we have another one here, right? I have another one here. So that will be plus 300 plus 265. 300 plus 265 was 565. Right? So what do you have? It is one. One one five plus what? Five six five. What are they? One five eighty. Joint venture is half of this and this, right? Half of this is what? One hundred. Half of this is what? Two hundred. What do you have? Six hundred. 
you want to enter is what? 600. So when you add up what you have, this is 0, 8, 1, 2, 2, 1, 80. So let's go. Current. What is this in each one? Current now, let's call this number 2, right? Parents. 290 plus 185. That's 475. Plus 550 plus 355. Nine oh five. So we add it four seven five plus nine oh five. One three eighty. That correct. That's one three eighty. So parent here is what? Two, one, three, eighty. So joint venture here. And two as well. Oh yeah, that's one seven five plus two fifty. So what do you have? Four to five. So that's a uh, 175 plus 250. That's 425, right? So if you have what you have, this is 5081. So what are good view? That's the three. Parent. Three. Parent is what? Uh, 296. So we have uh, uh, 1296. That's what the period is. We have joint venture here. And that's number 3 as well. So we have 415. So when we add up, we have 1711. So we add this 3, that should give you 5696. So what do we have now? Our liabilities. So what that we have reserve. What are reserve here? 2932. What is the share capital? Of course, if I get any problem, I can take it here at 2500. And we have minority. Interest 264. If you add up, you're going to have 5696. This is your total liabilities, total assets. So, what we've done here is to report you know, the consolidated sale of the apple group balance sheet basically. Involving a joint venture, right? Using both methods. That's similar line method and the separate line method. Okay? So you have it here. So take your time. Go through. If you have questions, you can read the number as displayed. You apply with the right answers. Okay? Don't forget you can support us by paying to have number displayed or sponsor copies of my textbook for free distribution. Thank you. See you next class. Bye.